in this presentation, I want to show you guys uh, seven different camera angles. And the first angle that I want to go over with you guys, or the seven that we're going to discuss, I should start with, is extreme close up, close up, medium, inside over the shoulder, over the shoulder, extreme long shot, and lead room. Here's the first one that you will see, which is called an extreme close up. These primarily focus around either the eyes or a part of the face which they want to bring emphasis on, such as the mouth, most of the time the eyes. In this one, you can see where the bear is showing some sort of sign of fear. In the next one, you'll see a close up. Now, the close up will show the entire face, and sometimes you'll even see the tops of the shoulders and the downward look. This one here clearly shows anger. On the next one, you're going to see what's called a medium shot. Now, this shot here is probably the one that's mostly used throughout film, and it's probably mostly used throughout even uh, movies and in uh, stories or on TV shows. The medium shot is something that shoots from the midsection or the waist, and it goes up. As you can see in all of these characters here, even though the rock is so much taller, they still are getting the medium shot from all of the rest of the characters. The next one is the extreme long shot. And in this one here, I'm using the Hulk because the film uh, producer here wanted to show the size difference between the Hulk and a normal size character. You will see extreme long shots when they want to show size difference and especially want to show the surroundings and the size compared to, this, to the um, character. The next one is inside over the shoulder. In an inside over the shoulder, you can not only see the person over the shoulder who's being interviewed or talked to or spoken to or in the scene, but you can still see the person's back of their head and it's clear and legible. And you can see where those person's eyes are being directed. In the last one, you will see where it's called over the shoulder. Now over the shoulder, you will see that the person that's in our foreground or in the front, they will be clear. And the person that they are speaking to or being addressed they are going to be fuzzed out or be a little bit unclear to the human eye. These are examples of the seven different camera angles. And for your assignment, what you will do is you will go and find seven different camera angles like I have here, and you will use G or PG rated movies to give as your examples. Good luck.